Now, the other day, I was playing on Ravine, one of the hardest maps in the game, and I saw all the swords, and I was like, you know, it'd be really cool if Ninja Kiwi made a sword or Crusader-type monkey. But little did I know, there's already been a modded sword monkey this whole time. Thanks to Timothy over in the modding community, we have the sword monkey. And look at all this super cool art for this monkey. I can't wait to try it out. And on top of that, we're going to be playing it on Ravine, since the sword monkey, tons of swords, and we're going to make it very difficult on ourselves by playing on hard mode, trying to make it past the round 100 bad. I'm really bad at this map, to be honest honest and I haven't even beat it on chimps mode myself but I think with our new and improved sword monkey who looks like Pat we got a level 20 maxed out Pat as our avatar here that's pretty awesome how does he attack so he has this like cool purple lightsaber beat sword he's mace windu of the balloons game right now but I think we need to actually put something else here too just to make sure we don't lose all of our lives we do have you know some mana shields and some spikes but we don't want to get it too wrecked now our first upgrade is going to be faster swings that's always going to be better so we can hit him he slaps and swipes with his sword so i think our immediate goal is to get another one over here and then we'll have two in the back just cleaning everything up hopefully and then we'll have two in the front eventually after we get some money to buy up all these upgrades what are we working with here as far as upgrades Thirty-four thousand. oh not expensive at all okay so we don't have to go like some crazy heavy farming strat we can just get through the game and breathe with our sword monkey and this is why because look we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven maybe twelve if i missed that one and thirteen did i miss them all i think there's around 12 to 13 swords on this map that's insane so if i had to guess i could easily see ninja kiwi coming up with their own sword monkey in the future which would be pretty awesome because we all saw that caveman underneath the ground and guess what caveman became somewhat of a usable character in the game so i could see sword monkey making an appearance we already have the like joan of arc skin from that time period so a sword monkey wouldn't be like that far-fetched so far these guys are hanging really well on their own i haven't even had to upgrade or anything this one has the one this one has nothing so far so what i'm thinking is should we like change should we have both of them be the same at the bottom or should we go with what's polish do plus it's polish polish not polish <laughs> He speaks Polish to the blues and eradicates them. No, okay, so we're going to do one layer of damage. I kind of like that. That'll make him a little more swipey. And then Heated Blade does another layer, and then this one does two pierce. Well, that just seems all we really need then, right? He could just swipe through one on his own. So I feel like this should be the one that does that. Do we want piercer damage? Piercer damage. Well, for this one, we'll get even faster swings, and then dual wield attacks twice as fast. I kind of like that one. That's pretty good. And here we go with that dual wield and he's just gonna go super crazy fast i love it so now do we want pierce or damage with this i'm thinking damage because if we can go faster we don't really need all that much pierce but then look he's missing maybe no 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 he's just too slow for it so we'll go with damage on this one so we can just one shot balloons that's probably a better play so we'll get this one all the way to there and then the next one's 3780 for synchronized swipes but i didn't even realize we're kind of losing so we need to upgrade this guy a little bit more we're gonna get him to like crazy pierce and crazy damage i think that's gonna be a good play here oh neither of them see camo though oh my gosh do they pop lead i would imagine though this one with the heated tips heated blade should definitely pop lead but we will definitely see in a little bit here we're gonna go sharpen and thick blade if we can but we're losing a lot of lives because this guy just is too slow unfortunately like this one's kicking some butts but this other one's a little slow so i feel like we need him to have a buddy who's just as fast because like his pierce and damage are great don't get me wrong but he's too slow to act on it maybe with thick blade no it's still the same problem huh we're gonna lose on this one actually no 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 you could you could beat it okay let's grab another sword monkey can we pop lead though okay we both can pop lead nice but we're gonna get another guy here but it's not gonna be a good spot oh right there that's a good spot it's a good spot and we'll get this one the faster because the faster seems to be helping a lot so it's good to note that the top path cannot pop lead because this guy cannot hit it's only this one right now and for this one we went with damage so this one we're gonna go pierce but i just realized we have no camo though like none so we're gonna have to think of something here is that gonna work oh i went on the wrong side of course can either of these pop camo no none of them can so we're gonna have to think on our feet here and we grab some camo here can we not die that'd be great if we don't maybe not okay okay that actually worked that actually worked so we'll grab another one here and we'll grab monkey sense because we seem to be handling the balloons actually for once, which is pretty cool. I don't know, though. All these rainbows, can we take them all? Yes. So this one clearly is the best one so far. Damage and speed. Damage and speed is the best right now. Um, I want to try to get both of these up because 36 is going to be rough for sure. Unless we can get like this one up there. Oh, and it goes that way. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Can we pop it? Okay, very close, very close. 
No, we lost. We're done. Okay, so we need to make this guy a fire one too. And he's going to sacrifice the first round, of course. And then we'll get this one. Now we're okay, I think. So we need to focus on getting these guys the camo for sure. But our next feat is definitely getting this guy to a Moab popping power. So we're going to need 3780 for synchronized swipes. And unfortunately, we're still losing so much to camo. Like these guys just need to be shimmer or we need to get a village down here because they're just not, they're not doing what they need to do. But they're taking ceramic sort of out. Oh my gosh. Okay, revamping the whole system. We are revamping the entire system right now. We're going to do a speed play right here. We're going to speed play, speed play. We're going to get this guy to here. We should have just farmed, right? That's probably the better play here. But we're going to get this one to 3590 because this seems to be the better play is this one down here. And now we're a little worried about the Moab, but all we have to do is pop it, right? Can we do that though? Hit that ability. Dude, this guy's not that good. He's not, I'm doing really bad. We needed to farm. Okay. We're going to alk buff him now. That should be fine. That should be fine. Yes, there we go. Okay, we alk buffed him. We're good to go. We need a village on both of these guys somehow. So we're going to go like this. And does it hit either of them? It does not hit that one. So we're going to have to go like this. Oh my gosh, this is the ugliest play I've ever done in my life here. But we need to get it up before 42. We need to have this camo here. There we go. There we go. We got our camo. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Now let's get our speed upgrade too. And once we get this guy to 3590, I think we can actually hang on for a little bit. And I think they're actually, oh, they are. They're both actually primary. So we can actually benefit from our primary training. That's pretty awesome right there. So now they're both super strong, super fast. They see camo and we're good to go on that front. Now what I think we should actually do here i think we need to go with our next upgrade because like this elite sword fender is going to be really great but only in one spot correct so we need like this javelanche here <laughs> oh homing spear throws javelins in a straight line javelins have 50 pierce deal six damage javelins now seek and deal 10 damage so okay so we can just throw him straight down this track then so i think if we go with this one all the way down to javel javelin <laughs> javelin thrower and see what it does for 10,000. oh no this one's not trojan oh no 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 Oh my gosh. All right, we're back on round 50, but this time I had to get a little bit of farms. I had to restart, had to get some farms, and I put Ben in a better spot with our buddy, the sniper, to help us out with that damage a little bit. So now we have two middle paths here and two top paths, and I think this will be a lot better of a play, and our village is actually in, in, in place somehow. Plus, with our farms, I think we're going to be on the good spot. We just need $10,000 because I truly think these homing spears are going to be great if we can get them there. But these guys should be able to pop them down, and then we have our Trojan in a good spot because before he was over here and he couldn't shoot down this path so that was causing us a problem so there's that one right there we almost lost because he didn't tro he's not trojan them in time but there we go we got our homing spirit i'm wondering if this is things is going to be great let's see okay he's at 148 damage his damage isn't really doing that crazy and this guy is more of it. I'm very curious. I guess we'll just have to get two of them to see if they're actually helping. And I think a smart play here would be to actually get the main Moab so we don't have to worry about the cleanup at the end. Yeah, there we go. That helps us a lot because we can clean up ceramics, no problem. We're super strong. But look, his damage has picked up quite a bit. It's at 2,900 compared to this one being at 65 and it was only at like 400. So I think it actually does do a lot of work once it gets in its range. But since it is a completely unknown tower, is it going to be good enough? Is two of them going to be good enough for 63? That's what I'm a little concerned about. This guy seems to be pretty strong when he needs to be. Now, the last one is going to be the bottom path, anti-blimp sword. I think it's going to be great. Maybe we should throw both of those up in the top, or are they going to be more cleanup? Let's actually see. We're going to go polish, polish, <laughs> heated blade for one layer damage, and then a heated blade that grants seven layers of damage for 2050. And maybe we'll get both on each side. I like that. Now, here is 63. Can we take it as is? I'm a little nervous. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, are they good? Are they good or no? No, they're not good. They're not good. They're not working out. Okay, we need to figure that out at the bottom. How are we going to take that out? I think this guy's good. He just needs to be a little bit stronger and faster. So we'll just up him and then up these two. And I think this could help out. Let's try it out. Can you take... Because he's taking those first ones down really well. And it's that second one. He, oh, dude, we're losing so much money here. <laughs> he just needs to hit those ones a little bit better. I think an alchemist will do fine. Or what if we need... Oh, man, I just can't decide. What if we need his buddy at the bottom to clean up as well? We'll do that. We'll get both of these buddies there and then they'll help. So we'll put them here. So now we have all three tiers. Okay, that seems to be working out a little bit better. I like that. And then now we got all of his buddies down here and then it's not enough. Oh my God, there's $1,200 on this one. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna alchemist them. This is ridiculous. We'll figure it out. I just need to figure out the order of why these guys are good or not good. But in the meantime, we'll just alchemist them all. Okay, see that that just oh, alchemist is the best tower in the game. Let's be real. And the reason why I wanted these guys up front is because it deals a lot more damage and plus 50 to fortified balloons. So it's just gonna be smacking them silly up at the front there. I think that's gonna be a good spot. 
Here we go with our lightsaber. And that does 50 to fortified balloons. That's pretty wicked. And it seems like he's smashing them pretty well. Let's see what the damage is. He's at 33,000, he's at 21,000, and he's at 5,500, but just so far. And he's, he's going up there pretty quickly. The hard part on this map, per se, is the fact that we can't just get a one-for-one -one test of who's the best because we don't have one path they're coming out. Like, I would love just to put the top path sword in, like, the front here and see if he can just destroy everything, but we're never going to know since every map is or every round is different but i think this fits it better because it's a sword monkey and it's a sword map i have to do it on this it would be wrong to not do it on this map oh it's actually getting a little overwhelming for us a little overwhelming okay so we can't do that okay there's another mo money down the drain that is crazy so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna i think we're gonna sell this guy for now so we can buy the anti-blimp sword and see what he does for this round i think he's gonna be great i'm just guessing here and then here's the plan we're gonna go with our middle path on this side all the way to a fifth tier and he's doing it. Yes, he's taking out those blimps. That's what we wanted to see, and he is doing it. So he is great. We'll leave him on strong, actually. This anti-blimp sword's pretty cool. Can we take out 78? Okay, we can. We can take out 78. I'm getting a little nervous here, guys. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. I think what we'll do is we'll time it to where after we pop this purple guy, the big blimp, and we see those purple balloons, we're just gonna use our ability here just to kind of clean it up. Let's see if we can get it through. Get those ceramics. Did we miss it? Oh, we got him. We got him. Perfect. We can't lose that way. Who's sending a shockwave down the track? It's this guy, right? Yes, it is the middle path sword monkey. He's going to do really well, I feel like. The homing spear and the javelanche. But part of me also feels like since this is like clearly 80, 90% more damage than this side, I feel like we should put all of our defenses over here. And then, oh man, that's tough, huh? Like all of our defenses here and then just like put a ton of sword monkeys on this side to clean up just naturally non fifth tiers though but in the meantime we should get this guy up to primary training get him up to seeing camo So like here's our round 80 z omg i feel like this guy should be doing a little bit more damage if we was on this so does that mean round 100 is going to be over there too oh dude i messed that one up i was hoping he'd be over there we'll get a chinook just in case i think that's a good good plan there can we take this down though are we going to lose another chunk of monkey money we are where are we we're going to lose more monkey money oh my gosh i'm so bad at this game and these sword monkeys are not cutting it Literally. Okay, so we're gonna do it the cheater way. I'm gonna cheat. Second ability, there we go. Now it's just a BFB. You can't stop me, guys. Can you take down a BFB there, tough guy? You can, okay, good, good, good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm like 10,000 monkey money to this, this monkey right now. So we are screwing up big time. We need to have some more fifth tiers by now. Okay, we're gonna get rid of him. We need 34,000, so we'll get rid of this one and we'll get this one. This should cover this now. We have a second fifth tier, a sword monkey. This guy should be great. Now this side's completely just dead on, but we should be okay. Now he should, okay, that's what we needed to see this entire time. That guy is super strong, okay? <laughs> no, he can clean up anything, but can we clean up this side? That's the question. So we need the Javalanche monkey to come clean here. Cause look at this side is gonna die right now, 100%. Like there's no shadow of a doubt right here, unless we like moved it over or something. There's no way you can hang. So here's what we're gonna do. Now I have the Javalanche guy here. Now, is that a bad play? I sold everything to get it. I literally went all in on this guy. Can he be strong enough to take everything out? Can he solo? No, he can't solo. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh my God, we are so deep in money and now it's up to 500 per, per loss. That's crazy. Note to future self, play sword monkey on straight map with one path and we can just see how strong they all are. Oh, hang on, this whole time we've had an ability? Ability launches a storm of homing lances at the balloons close range only? We've had that the whole time? Oh my gosh, I didn't know I had that. We could just do this. Oh my gosh, what an idiot. We got this guy to like ju juice him up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, I'm so tired of losing. I'm so bad at this game. Oh my gosh. Okay, we get it. You're bad. We get it. Oh my gosh. Just, just use your homing ability, you big dummy. I'm gonna use my second ability too. We gotta get through this. Okay, this guy can help. This guy can help. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my gosh. No, we're gonna die again, aren't we? We're gonna die again. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am scrambling here. I have spent over, I think, no, no joke, like $7,000 on monkey money. And it's this, it's this side right here. It's a totally weak side and it's me being stupid. Like instead of doing something about it, I just keep spending more money. There's clearly ceramics need to be taken down. And what do I do about it? I just put more sword monkeys there. Like that's a better play right there. Now we can, when we pop them, they're just going to be frozen. Okay. Don't be dumb. That's all there is to it. Don't be dumb. But this is exactly why I don't like using things like the ice. Cause look at this. Now we're going to be stuck here for 10 days. Okay, I'll just use my strong sniper. There we go. So even the homing can't take down the ZOMGs anymore. It's just not doing it. And then this guy's gonna pop them too late, I feel like. So then we're just still gonna have our problems here. I'm use my ability there. Oh my gosh, this is getting scary. Oh, the DDTs just walk. <laughs> oh my God, we need an entire revamp here. I need to stop spending monkey money. This is getting bad. Why couldn't none of them hit a DDT? All right, here we go. We're putting you down this path and we're gonna go with damage. And then we're gonna put you 
like in the middle here ish and you're gonna go bottom path with the well it does damage so we don't really need pierce right or do we want faster or pierce i'm gonna go with faster on this one so now we got these crazy strong guys right so they're gonna do all the work down at the bottom where most of the work is needed but now we don't have anything that can see camo like they can see camo but it's not good enough let's see what happens here I'm gonna actually use my third ability if I can. Can we pop him? So dude, he can't even pop him. All that was for nothing. Now I'm a little concerned because he can't even see this right side, this ice monkey here, but I've sold my fifth tier up top because I don't know if he was actually doing anything helpful and we'll get him down here if we can, a 34,000 javelin. Is this gonna be enough to do this? I'm gonna use my ability here to kind of clean this up. Okay, so the ice does help and this guy pops. So this guy pops them and this guy stops the other ones. I think that's a good little team here. And this guy just breaks stuff down, which is great. But I think this guy can handle it on his own. So I don't even know if that's worth it. We might as well put this one up front. What the heck got through that time? Oh my God. Oh, I'm actually getting upset. This is take, this is seven, 8,000 monkey money. All right, so I've moved the top one to the bottom and he should be able to do this. Like there's no reason not to. No, he can't, he can't literally have the anti blimp sword it's not doing anything dude oh my gosh i i am i am over this i am over this so much okay we're gonna do one last thing and I, i'm just calling it a day we got the javalanche now if you can't pop this stuff if your javalanche can't pop this stuff i am done dude you're freaking kidding me forget sword monkey i just sold everything for this monkey Hopefully you can do it. Can you beat it? Oh my god. You can't even beat it either. I give up dudes I am the worst at this game. I am the worst monkey player ever. I guess I'll just have to do that Look how many times I have. Oh my freaking god. I cannot believe I've done this I guess this is the best chance. This is the best chance to do this <sighs> The big plane's so bad. He's so bad He just shoots everywhere, but he needs to and then he's he trails like he doesn't need to follow that one But he does just pop this guy open, please I guess we can overclock if I have time, but I won't. Let's slow it down. Come on, just beat it, please. Be okay, thank. Thank you, baby Jesus. And if you want to see even more Bloom City 6 content, check out this video where we had a brand new class in the BTD6, the ethereal class. It's crazy and ghostly.